Good afternoon. Welcome back. I am Luke Jure FM, as always. Um, hope you all have a nice weekend. Sorry, it's uh, it's a Monday and we're all back at work, but I hope you're all having a nice Monday as best as you can. The weather's getting better, so at least there's that. Uh, and the people who are watching this video, hopefully I'll cheer you up a little bit. So, um, But yeah, hope you're okay. I'm currently managing, as we know, I'm currently managing So Show. Um, not signing any players, just using the players from my youth academy and the players I've got already in the squad. So it's, uh, we're in the second season. We're currently in um, eighth place in the league after 21 games played. Uh, we've got 27 points. We've won seven games, drawn six games and lost eight. So our season, our club vision, um, the objectives for the club vision is to just avoid relegation from League Two. So we're, we're more on... We're definitely on track for that, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, the board's happy. The fans seem relatively... The sports seem quite happy as well. Um, the only thing is, is the fans want me to play a defensively solid football, but that doesn't work for me. So, um, yeah, so other than that, just wanted to say thank you as always for supporting me, following me, watching the videos, liking the videos, leaving comments. It, it all uh, helps. So after this, I'm going to, um, sorry, coming up next, I'm going to be playing the first game of the episode, which is against Strasbourg. So it'll be a very tough game, but hopefully we can get something out of it. So uh, I'll be back in a sec. Right, so here we are. Here's the lineup for the game against Strasbourg. Um, Poplov, Poplow, sorry. I think it's Poplo. Uh, Popo, sorry, Popo, the W there, but I don't know whether, I think, I don't know if it's anybody from Poland or Polish speaking people, can you just let me know if that W is meant to be pronounced as a V? Uh, but I'm going to go in Popo for now. And then we've got Galvez as right back, Diagni in central defence with um, Bossy. This is Bossy, Jeremy Bossy. Hopefully you'll be able to boss the defence. Bit of bunch. Yeah, I know, that was rubbish. I can't think of anything else. Um, and then we've got Bastian as left back, Drame and Viltard in the centre of the field. Weisbeck on the right, Hazard on the left, Vatara and Toki up front. So, a very familiar looking team here. Let's hope that it's strong enough to get something out of this game. Strasbourg obviously got relegated last season from League 1. So, they are probably one of the favourites to bounce back up. Um, I think they're currently top of the. Yeah, they are top. Lyon, they've risen up to second now. God, look at the teams here. You've got Strasbourg, Lyon, Bordeaux, Troyes. Troyes in real life have um, just recently got relegated to the net, the, the tier down from League 2, the one we were just in, the National. Um, but some strong teams here in that league. And it does, we, hopefully we can get in the playoffs, but I can't see it happening. You've got Paris FC as well, Auxerre, JCO. Angers, Kayan, Sayan. I keep calling them Kayan, but it's Sayan, isn't it? Strasbourg all over us. I dread to think who is going to get relegated from League 1 because I wasn't expecting Lyon or Strasbourg to get relegated, and they did, so we just got to hope rubbish teams get relegated from League 1, which is hard to say because there is no rubbish teams in League 1, really. It's a very strong league. So if anybody gets relegated from there, they're automatically going to be favourites to go back up. Amiens, bloody hell, bottom of the League 2. That's surprising. Strasbourg all over us. I feel like they're just going to... There you go. Chair Nador, who at one point, I think it was at Benfica, wasn't he? Yeah, Atlanta, Benfica, PSG, Braga, now Strasbourg. His career's kind of gone downhill a little bit, but... Maybe he'll resurrect it here at Strasbourg. Uh, um, I just feel like we're just not got the quality to to be good enough to beat these these at the moment, which is good though because it kind of gives me an idea how good this team is at the moment. Because if we go up into League One, for instance, with this team, we're probably not going to be staying in that league for very long because I think we'll probably get relegated. Right, so Weisbeck had to come off. Uh, we put Carzenti on the right. Hopefully he'll impress me. 
Right, let's try encouraging the players, see if that'll work. See how we get on. Hopefully the second half will be a brighter one for us. Strasbourg with the first highlight of the second half. What are you doing? What is our goalkeeper doing there? That, that, no, I'm sorry, but that, that is ridiculous. Hold on. Let's change the camera angle. Uh, behind the goal, I really want to see what the hell this goalkeeper was thinking then. Slow it right down. There we go. Right, so here's the goal again. He headed it out. I swear that was a header. Goalkeepers aren't meant to header. Let's watch it again. This is not probably the best angle for it. I don't know what. what. Did he punch it out? I think he might have punched it out. Ah. <sighs> Well, he's going to get a telling off. Right, in fact, he's going to come off. Put Charlie, Charlie Dosso on there. Uh, Kazard can come off because you're playing rubbish as well. Bill Tart. Oh, we can't take any more players on. I feel like our best bet is to basically go very defensive now and just kind of just try, and def not, try not to extend this uh, lead for Strasbourg. Oh, I need to change the camera on the back. Sorry, everybody. Uh, I apologise for that. I wonder what the hell was going on there. Do a bit of time wasting. They're just, they're just so, so, they're just, look at that. I mean, that was ridiculous. That deserves a replay. Go behind the goal again, slow it down. Let's replay this. I'd be ecstatic right now if I was the Strasbourg manager. It was a great ball. And then he just went, dunk. Look at that. Oh, well, three nil. Just have to uh, chalk this one up to experience. There's still eight though, so at least it's that. Neck and neck on points with uh, Poir. Uh, only a couple of points behind Angers and Grenoble. Nowhere near a JCO, so maybe we're looking at top 10 finish this season. I mean, I wasn't expecting us to beat Strasbourg, but I wasn't expecting us to be humiliated like this. And they'll probably score another goal before it's all said and done. I mean, look at that. Four shots the whole game. One on target. That just tells you everything you need to know. He's just not been in this game at all. Oh, well. Not the best way to start the episode, but hopefully... The episode will get better because we won't be playing teams like Strasbourg every game. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, very humble in defeat there. All right, I'll uh, see you in a sec. All right, so we've got FC Ruin now. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Um, we should win this game, get back on track. Um, usual lineup by the looks of it. Bossy staying in centre defence for now. Uh, Tete's in for Viltar. Cosenti's in for Wiseback. Other than that, it's the same as last game. Which is not a bad thing. Let's hope our goalkeeper doesn't do uh, anything stupid in this game, or else he's going to be out the door. Not that I've got loads of goalkeepers. Um, I think we've got like two or three senior goalkeepers and I think one or two maybe at the most under 18 reserve goalkeepers so I'm hoping in the next youth intake I get another I get a decent another decent goalkeeper right there right nil nil at the moment no highlights so far 
Sorry, did I say FC Ruin? I meant Corvelli Ruin. URM. Playing them. It's tight there at the top, isn't it? Lyon with 47, Bordeaux with 48, and Strasbourg with 48. These three teams should be in League 1, though, to be honest. They're too good of a club. They're too good of a club to be in bloody league two. Be like literally the equivalent of. Um, then again, a lot a lot of teams in the, in the Premiership have actually been relegated at one point or another. Other than those, sorry, like Man United, Arsenal, Man City, well, Man City been relegated, haven't they? Uh, Liverpool, Spurs, you know, what I mean, other than them type of teams. But uh, Newcastle's been relegated since the Premiership started. West Ham's been relegated since the Premiership started. Crystal Palace. Um, Everton haven't at the moment, I don't think. Um, Burnley, they have. Fulham. Got to say, 1-0 down. We are not doing well in this episode. All the way down to 11th now. We've gone from 8th to 11th. Right, let's let's get back in this game, please. There we go. Passing it around nicely. Go on, bossy. Hazard. Bastion. Right, Galvez out on the right. He's got a decent cross on him. Well, he decides to do the short pass. Fortunately, we do not score from it. Right, Pizard, you're playing rubbish again. Oh, Zenti, you're not exactly doing well, but I haven't got anybody else I can put on for you. So I'm going to, I don't know. Pizard, uh, you've been playing rubbish as well. Vaz can come on for you. See if we can fire up the players in a minute. Right, goal kick, passes it out to Diagne. Galvez now, let's see if we can uh, start something with him. Passes it all the way back to Diagne. 1-2, gives it back to Galvez. Kofi. Um, doing a bit of passing here, trying to keep possession. I think we're just waiting for the right opportunity. Good ball. Uh, Nabo should have done better with that. Hold on. There we go. Oh, we got a penalty. Should have just let that go in. That went in then. Should have just let it go in. Right, penalty awarded. Who's taking it? Kofi to take the penalty. Hopefully he'll score. Get us back in the game, even though we should be beating these. Yes, get in. I thought he skied it then. I thought, flipping out, typical. But no. Right. See if we can uh, keep this draw, or hopefully, I mean, you look at the stats. We should be. We should have had two goals. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought they were going to score from a free kick. Then they got the ball though. No, at least to nothing. Free kick, Carzenti, who's not playing particularly well, so hopefully he can uh, redeem himself here with the free kick. Crosses it in. Oh, fortunately, it didn't uh, connect properly. Nabo. Get in! Go on, Nabo! Nabo with a G at the start. Nabdus, the winner, but a bunch. Right, there you go. I'm not too happy about it because we should have beat them anyway. So it's just, it was an expected win. We only just managed to do it though. So at least, at least it showed we had a bit of fight in us. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you'll see me in a sec with the next match. So we're uh, now playing a JCO away. Or a JCO. I don't know how you pronounce it. I need to do my research before I start an episode, I think. 
Um, but yeah, we've got we've had a few injuries, so I think that's why you're seeing a bit of a swap around there. Uh, Bastian's own, he's not going to be able to play the whole game. He's he got injured for a few days. Um, but basically, Costa's in for Galvez is injured. For Tarzan to play on the right because Carsenti is injured and whoever the heart member uh, and Weisbeck, they're both injured. Pizarro's still on the left, and then we've got Vaz in for Tarz's position for, for, for Kofi. So. Just see how we get on here. No idea how we'll do in this game. I'm hoping it's a game we can win, but we'll see. We are just behind a JCO in the league, so hopefully we can leapfrog past them if we win this. Get back into eighth position. That loss to um, Strasbourg really did affect us. So we were at a, at a bit of momentum, I think, before that. Oh, great ball. Oh, lucky by Vaz. I think he was offside anyway. Good tackle. Oh, good save as well. Pop on with the save or pop out. I still haven't figured it out. Like I said, let me know if you're from Poland. Also, um, anybody watching this episode, if you know of anyone that would that has like um, a so show yellow home shirt in a three XL or a four XL, preferably any websites, any French based mystery box suppliers or something like that, can you just like let me know in the comment section. Um, I've emailed a few today because it would be good to be happy to actually wear the Socho home shirt. But like I've seen on, I've seen how much they're going for um, at the moment, and it's just ridiculously overpriced. I'm not bothered if it's ten years old, as long as it's a Socho home yellow shirt. That's all, and in a three XL preferably, uh, or a two XL at a stretch. It, I it probably just about fit me a two XL. Depends on the uh, the supplier. I, I usually prefer to go for a four XL just to be on the safe side. So unfortunately, I'm a big guy, and I don't. I think a lot of these football clubs don't have certain shirts in certain certain sizes. For example, Cadbury Athletic, the team I'm going to go and see um, live next next season. Um, I want to buy a home shirt for for their games, um, but they've only got up to a size large so I'm, I need to get in touch with them to see if they'll do a 3 or 4XL for me or something they probably won't be able to but 1-0 up because I was yapping away I didn't even bloody see the goal so here's the goal again Qatar there we go little tap in by Vaz sorry about that, everyone yapping away but yeah 1-0 up Don't know what Drame did there then. Oh, poor finishing by them, luckily. Right, so we're coming up to the end of the first half, 1-0 up. Oh, I was thinking we'd, we'd overtake a JCO in the league, but we, we won't by the looks of it. Right, Pizard. Good ball. Go on, Baz. Still got possession though, built hard. Trying to keep possession here by the looks of it. Trying to wait for the perfect opportunity. Qatar with the cross. Oh, hit the post by Kofi. Not liking him to miss a header. Drummer. Bastian now, is he going to loop it in? No, he passes it inside. Fatal with the goal there, get in. 2 0 up after 58 minutes. I think it's safe to say that we're going to win this game now, I think. Famous last words, I know. All right, Viltar with the free kick. Is this going to be the dot on the exclamation mark here? Oh, nearly. 
Still got the ball though. You never know what might come out of this. Bill Tard having another crack, is he? No, passes it. Uh, doesn't lead to anything in the end. Bill Tard's pretty good at free kicks. Corner, headed out. Straight in the goalkeeper's hands. Uh, I'm quite looking forward to uh, WWE Backlash. I know it's I know everyone's saying it's a weak card because you've got, type, but I, I mean I think personally WWE needs. It. I know they may just put the title on Damian Priest, but Jey Uso is so over at the moment. Get it, go on, Kofi. Um, Jey Uso is so over at the moment. Uh, they need to put the title on him. They need to put Raw's title on him and give him a long run while the fans are uh, going crazy for him. You can always put it back on Damien Priest in like six months' time or something, but you, you go watch WWE Live and the two most over people at the moment is Cody Rhodes, sorry, free, because it's CM Punk. When, if, so, if CM Punk's healthy, it would be Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, and then Jey Uso. You know, Sami Zayn's very over, Kevin Owens is very over, but they're not as over. Like, everyone loves doing the dance, um, the Jey Uso dance. Um, I personally did it when I went to see WWE in, in Birmingham. So, yeah, Jey Uso needs, they need to put the title on him now because the momentum's building, building, building. And it's, get, it's got to the point now where the crowd is going crazy for him. So they need to, I know they're not, I know they're not wanting to change their plans, but especially on the Triple H's reign at the moment, that was more of a Vince McMahon thing to, to, just to quickly do something for the sake of it. But, yeah, definitely need to put the title on Jey Uso. If they don't do it at Backlash, they need to build it up so like, Jey Uso gets another shot, maybe in a month or two, and then beats him. So they can do a lot of slow build, but not too slow because he needs to be he needs to be the main babyface on Raw, basically. Um, if Cody's on SmackDown, Jey needs to be the main, main good guy on Raw, other than CM Punk, obviously. But I think he's even more over than CM Punk. I, think, I feel like CM Punk's going to... After the Drew McIntyre feud's done, I feel like CM Punk's going to be a heel, uh, a heel anyway. So we'll, we'll just have to see. Anyway, right. I'll be back in a sec. Right, so we've got a very big game ahead of us now. We are playing Leon. We've had a few injuries, Bastion being the main one. So Bossy's in as left back. We've got Rilot in the centre of defence with Diagne. Let's have a quick look at him. Uh, perfectly capable central defender. Um and uh, Weisbeck's back so uh, that's about it really so we're going to be a little bit not as good on the left side of defence um, but he is capable of playing there he, that's his natural position even though the last couple of games he's been playing the centre back but yeah let's just we'll just see how it goes I think this will go the same way if not worse than the Strasbourg game because Leon is a better team um, and a better club than Strasbourg so we'll just have to see how we get on. We're playing at home, so that might help us in some way. You never know. They're currently second, one point behind Strasbourg, Bordeaux's third. We're currently now eighth. A couple of points away from a chaser. First highlight goes to us, which is quite which is quite good. Quite positive to see. Get in. I knew that was going in as soon as that floated in. Bizarre with the header. 1-0. Amazingly, we're winning. We need to give praise there, to be honest, because I wouldn't expect us to be winning 1-0 at the moment against Leon. Oh, what a ball there. I don't, know what their, I don't know what their defender was doing. We should have buried that. We should have buried that. We need to take our chances in this game. Probably not going to get many of them. Right, Galvez. Has suffered a poor right. We'll just leave him for a bit. Let him carry on. He'll probably be fine in a minute. Don't want to take him off unless I have to. Especially this early into the game, I feel like if we're going to take him off, we'll take him off in like the 60th minute or something. We have we have got to cast who can play as right back, so we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, we're still winning one nil, so that's good. But uh, Leon, can always, they will always have a chance to get back in the game. 
I feel like the highest position we can get is seventh this season because uh, is it all observed? They've got like forty five points. So even if we win this game, we've got we're nine points behind seventh place as it is. So we won't be getting European football. I think top ten, I'll be happy with top ten. Any anything else is a bonus. But here you go, Leon coming into the second half strong. We are defending well though. Right, goal kick to us. Diagni passes it to Bossy. Oh, Prasad, what are you doing? I'll let you off as you did score the goal for us. I feel like uh, Leon's just like, going to score any second now. Here you go. Offside, luckily. Good composure, though, by him. Right, corner to us. Uh, Wiseman. <gasps> Get in! 2 0. Come out of nowhere, that did. Leon looked like they were going to score. Um, we've managed to extend our lead. I'm absolutely shocked by this result. I was not expecting this. It's a good surprise, though. Not a bad one. Now, a sensible person would have took off the tar, put a defensive midfielder on, and then just packed the midfield to just, you know. I'm not the best when it comes to tactical decisions. But we're still winning 2 0, so we're doing well. Right, boys back, you need to come on. But Lang Langius, I think he's making his debut. I might be wrong. Oh no, he has played before. Right, bossy with the throw in. Can we get another one? Oh! Oh! Oh, with the box as well. Oh my. Right, is this going to be a penalty, everyone? It is. Come on. Come on, Kofi. Kofi lines it up. Get in! Get in! 3 0. Absolutely shocked by this result. Well done, lads. Fair play. Yeah, was not expecting that. Oh, God, we're playing Paris FC next. Another tough team. They're coming thick and fast. This episode, we played Strasbourg, Lyon, and now Paris FC. Right then, I'll be back in a sec with the final game of the episode against Paris FC. So we've got the last game of the episode now versus Paris FC. Um, they're currently fourth in the league, so they are a very tough team to beat by the looks of it. Um, we've got De Costa as right back. Um, Bossy's in centre defence. Galvez is playing as left back for some reason. Uh, he can play there. Um, but yeah, I don't know why we just dump Bossy in there. But anyway, Drummy and Viltard in the field as usual, and then usual front four. So let's just see how we do. I think uh, the players will be ecstatic after that Leon result. Hopefully, it will give them the confidence to beat Paris FC, but. You know what it's like on Football Manager. Because we beat Leon, I expect us to lose this game now. Consistency is never a strong point on this game. But yeah, we're nine points behind Paris, F uh, Paris FC at the moment. So, uh, I'm not saying ma mathematically it is possible if we beat Paris FC today, it will make it a little bit more possible, but the likelihood is we're not gonna we're not gonna get in the playoffs this year. This year, but like I said, we're doing well. We keep up with the progress. Then next season, I don't think we'll have a team like I don't think we'll have teams like um, Bordeaux and Strasbourg and Lyon, for instance, to contend with. So I think it'll be a little bit easier for us to get promoted next year. I say this, but you just don't know, do you? 
Yeah, Nick. There we go. Nice bit of passing go. What a ball. Get in. Go on, Drame. Rare goal for Drame. With this win, we'll be seven points behind the Troyes now in the playoffs. We just got to keep winning, really, and hope for the best. Good ball. Go on, Moise Bay. Get in. Go on. Kofi. How many goals he's got for this season so far? He's got 18 goals for the season, though. So I thought, well, where are we at the moment? Yeah, we're in March. Let's have a quick look. Let's see. Sorry, I know I shouldn't be doing this in big game. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight games left. Uh, let's have a look at who is in the relegation battle in Liga. Yeah, so see, look, Lorient, Gunchev, and Clement. I feel like they are good teams, but they're not like Bordeaux, Lyon, and Strasbourg. So, and then you've got Reims. There's no like big surprises. So, um, unless there's like a catastrophe and set maintain go down, Nice go down, um, I think we're pretty much got a good shot next season of getting it, at least in the playoffs. But we'll see. But it's good that we're winning 2 0. 2 1, sorry. <laughs> Stand corrected. I just praised them at the worst possible time there. Yeah, we're doing well there. Seven shots, four on target, 0.99 XG, two goals come from it. So we've done better than was expected. When you look at the stats. We've had an injury to Drame, unfortunately. That's a shame. Costa is playing rubbish. Uh, I'm going to leave it for now. We're we'll going to have to do some defensive swapping around it, isn't it, though? Uh, still 2-1 after 61 minutes gone. Ah, oh, Kofi's injured. That's not good. Our main man up front is injured. I don't know how long for, but we'll soon find out after this game. Come on, let's get the ball back. There you go. Come on, boys, bear. Good ball. Now Vaz, can you can you step up in Kofi? Oh, good ball to Fatar. Look at that. Uh, I think it, I think Fatar was slightly offside. Let's see. No, no, I was expecting that. Oh well. Let's see if Vaz can step up in uh, Kofi's absence. Free kick, wise back. Pretty pretty good chance of uh, getting a shot on here. No, not good enough. Right, I'm gonna take oh I'm gonna take the Costa off. So what I need to do is put swap him and him and then swap him and him and then the Costa come off and we'll put on Garriers. Right, well, we can't take off wise bit now, we've used all our subs, so we've just gotta get on with it. Hope for the best. 10 minutes to go plus added time. This is what I like to see. No highlights, just let this clock just run out now. Five minutes of added time, we've got a corner. Oh my God, Weisbeck. Oh no, now we're screwed. Oh no, oh thank God for that. Oh no, they've still got the ball. No. Oh no. Oh, come on. Come on, VAR. Come on. Come on. Please, come to our rescue. You just allow one of our goals. Yes, get in. Whew. Right, let's just play very defensive. 
time wasting. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. Thank God for that. Get in. Good way to end the episode. Oh God, we got some injuries. Drammy's injured for three weeks. Kofi's out for two, three, two weeks, sorry. Ugh. Last thing we need. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the fixtures. So, for this episode, we lost... Oh, bloody hell, we've done way better than I thought. So, we lost to Strasbourg in the first um, part of the episode. And then after that, we've gone on a four-game winning streak, including wins against Lyon, Paris FC. Uh, next episode, we've got games against Troyes and ASC. Amons, Amons currently bottom or, or near the bottom. Uh, Grenoble, Prior, Rodez. So, so we 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 played all the good teams now. So hopefully the next, I think next episode I'll play one two three, I don't know, one two three four. So I'll play them four games next episode, and then the episode after that we'll play these. So we'll be the season will be done in two episodes time. So by towards the end of the week we'll have season two done and dusted. Um, we've got eight games, so eight times three is sixteen twenty-four. Um, unless my maths just completely let me down there. Um, but yeah, twenty-four points. So yeah, we've still got a chance of getting in the playoffs. We are. It's going to be tough though. We're nine points behind Troy's. But we've, like I said, we've got mostly easy games now. I think all all of the winnable games for us. They're all against teams that are below us in the league. So it does give me uh, confidence. I mean. Amons, uh, and the SC, um, Troy's is probably the one to watch out for because they're fifth. Oh, sorry, I stand corrected. So, after the Troy's game, we've got all the easy games, but yeah, anyway, on that note, um, I'm just gonna expand this. Sorry, there we go. Yeah, on that note, thank you for watching this episode. Thank you, as always, for subscribing, liking the videos, commenting. Uh, let me know in the comments box um, if there's anything that you want me to change about the episodes, the pace, the layout, or um, just let me know if you're enjoying them or not. So, yeah. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Monday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.